Well, uh, Bill Fleckenstein is joining us and back again. He's the president of Fleckenstein Capital in Seattle. And Bill, uh, I had to shut, I had to uh, go right before the break. But uh, you were you were talking about the fact that you thought that this rally uh, may be ending. And if I heard you correctly, sometime in the first quarter of next year. Well, I, I'm not sure. Um, I think that the. Um, that a lot of people thought the market would break in September uh, in October just because the the those two months you know caused some people to think the market's supposed to go down I thought there's a decent chance that wouldn't happen and if it doesn't and given the fact the news has gotten a little bit better and the earnings season looks like it might go pretty well you could see a, quite a continuation of the rally and maybe it could last into the end of the year I don't know maybe uh, maybe it goes a little bit longer but I, I, I don't think our problems have been solved, and I think there's going to be continued problems in trying to create jobs and things like that. So while we've had an economic bounce that was sort of quite likely to occur, um, I think that next year is going to be much more difficult in the stock market. So once we get through earnings season and once we get a little later in this year, I'm going to be looking for opportunities probably to get shorts some, at least to some degree. How much? We kind of have to see how things go. But, um, and where, Bill, the, where? Where would you go short if you had to go back in the markets for that? Well, it kind of depends on where things are when I think it might be safe. I mean, almost certainly I'll probably be short uh, some tech stocks because, like, for instance, the, the chip sector, they're going to report good earnings. But a lot of it, I think, is a function of double and triple ordering, so their businesses are going to look better than they really are. So I think there will be an opportunity there. But there's a lot of companies with bad balance sheets and sort of businesses that are going to be potentially in a little more trouble next year that have had huge rallies from uh, last March. And I think that anything with a bad balance sheet next year uh, and, a, and a weak business might be an interesting short as well. But let's wait and see till when we get there, you know. So in the meantime, you're still long, Bill, and you did take a shot at the Fed before the break. Do you think stocks could even be at the point that they're out, are, they are at now without the assistance from the, the, the government and the Federal Reserve? No, no. I mean, uh, the... <clears throat> the, all the prop, sorry, the, the, the bulk of the responsibility for the problems of this country are due to the irresponsible uh, activity of the Fed under Alan Greenspan and all the money they printed. Um, so they actually, last winter, when they printed even more money and all the things they've done was fairly predictable, and that's what's li lifted stock prices. But now we're going to have a whole host of problems down the, down the road with a weak dollar. And one of these, and then at some point, rates are going to go up because of the massive deficits we've created. So it's going to get a lot trickier next year and, in, and a little farther out. Uh, Bill, I'm still captivated by the possible shorts next year that you that you uh, may or may not do. You know, depending on, of course, uh, what happens with the with the Fed and all of that. But uh, aside from semis, though, and you mentioned you know companies with bad balance sheets, are we talking about banks? Are we talking about the home builders? Who exactly? <clears throat> Well, again, I mean, I, 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 I don't want to say what names or what industries because we have to see, I mean, you know, uh, exactly where things go. I mean, if the market rallies for another couple of months, you know, everything's going to be different. And what are going to be the best opportunities? I don't know. So I, I'd rather okay. really wait and see. All right, Bill, thank you so much.